So hi everyone, in this video we're going to explain the duality between the utility maximization process and the expenditure maximization process. So throughout the theory of consumer behavior, we've noted that there is uh, this behavior with uh, the way uh, utility is maximized and the way that a consumer would try to minimize his or her expenditures. And we know that uh, that duality exists in some mathematical regard. So uh, for the videos that we've had so far, we've been discussing utility maximization and utility maximization starts okay, with uh, an objective function, which is your direct utility function. So that utility function is a function of uh, consumption of goods. And that direct utility function Okay, is subject to some budget constraint or some income constraint. Now, if we solve for the if we solve for the first order conditions, okay, and we solve that constraint optimization process, okay, so once we solve this, we're going to get the Marshallian demand functions here, and those Marshallian demand functions are we know the demand functions that we typically see graphed or that typically uh, give rise to the law of demand. Okay, and uh, th these functions are functions of prices and income. Okay, now what we can do is since these are quantities of consumption, we can evaluate our direct utility function to be able to derive the indirect utility function. And we're, this is basically VP1, P2, and M. It's a re-expression of, of our direct utility function wherein we plugged in okay, our our Marshallian demand for good one and good two in this case, or for the goods that a uh, consumer would opt to consume. Now, we also noted in the last video that there is one way or there's a manner by which we can recover or we can link the indirect utility function and the Marshallian demand functions, and that's through uh, Roy's identity. And uh, Roy's identity, again, is a way to recover the Marshallian demand functions, and this is given as um, star is equal to negative of the partial of um, your indirect utility function with respect to the own price, okay, all over the partial of the indirect utility function with respect to income. So this is one way by which uh, you can recover the Marshallian demand function. So at any point in the solution, okay, say you were given with the indirect utility function and not the direct, it's possible to get the Marshallian demand functions. Now, duality exists okay, between the expenditure minimization and the utility maximization, primarily through the indirect utility function and the expenditure function here. So what we can do is, okay, uh, notice that the indirect utility function, it's a function of uh, prices and income. Okay. Now, remember, okay, if a consumer wants to maximize his utility, okay, well, he wants to maximize utility, he needs to exhaust okay, his entire income. Okay. So in order for him to even try to achieve that goal, income must be exhausted. Therefore, the minimum expenditure that he would require to meet a certain utility target, assuming that that utility target was the maximum utility, would be his entire income. So what we can do is we can re-express this indirect utility function okay, as um, with respect to M. So we can isolate out M, out M. And we can get a function okay, that's like M, okay, which is some function. Okay. So we can get a function of M or income, which is some function of prices and a targeted level of utility. In this case, since this is the duality, this is the maximum utility that we target. And that function that we're going to come out is actually the expenditure function, which, as we know, is a function of prices and a targeted level of utility. Now, remember, 
that works, okay, this works if the utility we are targeting is the maximum utility. And again, in order for us to achieve that maximum utility, we need to exhaust our entire income. So that's where the duality lies intuitively and using intuition. Now, the expenditure minimization process, okay, the objective function in that is your expenditure on goods, okay, times their respective prices. And this is subject to some utility target okay it's subject to some utility target and uh, if you solve for the first order conditions of this constraint optimization process you're going to get to the hickson demand functions and if you evaluate okay the expenditure fun the initial expenditure clause here using um these uh hickson demand quantities you can derive the expenditure function so if you plug in um x1c plus p2x2c you should get your expenditure function which is some function of prices and utility now similarly okay similarly you can derive back or recover the hickson demand functions using shepherd's lemma and we shepherd's lemma comes in the form of the partial of i'm uh, sorry uh a Hickson demand function is the partial of the expenditure function with respect to the price of its own good. So say X1C is my goal, I derive it with respect to P1, X2, I derive it with respect to P2. And it's a way for me to recover the Hickson demand function. So similarly to utility maximization at any point in the solution, say I was given with the expenditure minimization clause, I can solve to get the Hickson. If I was given with the expenditure function, I can um, use Shepard's lemma to recover the Hickson. So two ways of solving it. Now, intuitively, okay, there's another way to link the two processes here, the initial conditions, and that's through the Slutsky equation, which we'll explore in another video. Now, these duality conditions can be summarized here. Okay, and these are our duality identities or conditions so that the first one is if we have our indirect utility function and we plug in the expenditure function as M, okay, we should get out the value U or just utility. Okay, so it should cancel out and then you should just be left with U mathematically. Similarly, okay, similarly, if we plug in the target utility level, again, you obtain the indirect by plugging in the Marshallians, okay, if you plug that in, you should be left with just M. So if you plug that, that maximum level of utility, which is represented by the indirect utility function to the expenditure function, you get M. Now, again, if you target the maximum level of utility, and this is at the Hickson level, so you plug that in to you, you should get the Marshallian demand function. Subsequently, Okay, if you plug in the expenditure function to the Marshallian instead of M, you should get the Hickson demand function. So these are the four duality conditions that exist because there is a given duality between uh, utility maximization and expenditure minimization. So this is it. This is us linking the two processes intuitively and uh, mathematically.